So at Southern Dermatology, one of the common things we see in our practice here is skin cancer and skin cancer related disorders. All, all, the, all the different physicians in, in this practice and our physician assistants all deal with skin cancer every day in this practice. And pretty much every dermatologist probably across North America deals with skin cancer almost every day. Skin cancer is very common and there's the horrific stories you hear about skin cancer of people dying, which definitely happens every day. And a majority of the skin cancers you're going to see are going to be very easy, treatable cancers. And patients walk away and don't even remember they had a skin cancer. And so it's very important to be able to distinguish the significant high-risk patients and the cancers that are high-risk and get the proper treatment and the ones that are low-risk and make sure you are utilizing the proper treatment. When you're looking at proper treatment, it is up to the physician, and this is where, again, the patient puts trust into a physician to distinguish their disease, their cancer, and to make sure they're doing the right treatment. With us, you will look at your cancer. You come in, and let's say you have a basal cell on your shoulder. It's a small, you're 83 years old on your shoulder, a very small basal cell. We look at the pathology of that and decide, okay, well, what are the options we have? And I'll sit down with the patient and we'll go over our choices and say, this is your option. So you can do nothing. It's not going to treat the cancer and obviously it's going to still be there and grow. Or we can go in there and we can do radiation. Now, that's probably an overkill treatment. And so somewhere we try to fall in between that. And so we decide with the patient, go, okay, what's the proper treatment for that small basal cell and an older gentleman on his shoulder? It would be Probably an electrodesiccation and curatage, which is kind of your classic scrape and burn treatment. Maybe a topical therapy. Maybe a simple excision where you take it out and we take out some small margins around that and send it out for repeat pathology. That would probably be an appropriate treatment. You know, something like micrographic or most surgery or radiation probably would be a, an overzealous treatment in that scenario. But then you take that same cancer and you put it on the tip of a nose on somebody the treatment options become a little bit different. Maybe you put it on a 50-year-old woman's nose and go, okay, you have a very small basal cell on the tip of your nose, never going to kill you, but we don't want to leave it there. Well, now our options become a little bit more limited. Probably not going to go in there and treat that with the EDNC or a scrape and burn because it's going to be a really unsightly scar. Simple excision might be reasonable, and some people might consider that a reasonable treatment if it's a small tumor. If it's a little bit larger, that might not be the best option because your cure rate starts going down. Consider um, radiation, although on a 50-year-old, I'm not sure I would want to radiate a 50-year-old's nose because you still got a lot of years left, left in the tank. So I don't know if that's always the best treatment option. Topical might be an angle we look at doing. And so this is something we sit down with the patient and we discuss all the treatment options and weigh out the pros and cons for each treatment. And usually we can get it down to probably one or two options. And then they'll use, most patients will then ask, well, what would you do? And I'll generally tell them, well, this is what I would probably do in this situation. So on the 84 or three year old gentleman on the shoulder, I would probably do an excision or EDNC depending on what scar they like. Some patients don't really care and I would probably do the two minute cheap treatment that works very well cure-wise. Um, if it's on a 50-year-old woman's tip of her nose, you're probably looking at Mohs surgery or micrographic surgery where we're going to utilize a very high cure rate, spare as much good tissue as you possibly can, and, and have hopefully a good cosmetic outcome. Uh, possibly doing all the repair in the office, possibly having to utilize another specialist for some of the repair techniques. So th those are where skin cancers come into play is looking at the cancer, looking at the site of the cancer, the type of cancer, and then looking at the patient. And then deciding between the patient and myself or another derm whatever dermatologist was seeing the patient, what's the best for that patient. 